Welcome to Unit 13, File Input and Output, and Exercise 8, the last assignment in the Java 2 course. All right, so what's the assignment want us to do? We're supposed to create an application that lets us enter a student data that consists of an ID number, a first name, a last name, and a grade point average. Depending on whether the student's grade point average is at least 2.0, Output each record either to a file of students in good standing located at studentsgoodstanding.txt or those on a debt on academic probation located at studentacademicprobation.txt. In other words, you're going to create this file. Uh, for example, the input. This would be what your input would look like. Okay, when you end, it says, obviously, it says ZZZ. Should save to the following, studentgoodstanding.txt, and the following to student academic probation. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So you should put, output two uh, files, one student good standing and one student academic probation. So now let's see what we need to do. Looks like we have all the header files we need. Okay, we have some declarations here. Well, obviously we're gonna need to declare some more variables. How about scanner? We know we need gonna need a scanner. And I'm gonna declare, how about a string? We'll call it S. We'll just have it empty. Now we, we're going to need some kind of type of delimiter, like a comma, let's say. And we'll save it as a string as well. So let's get an ID going. We'll call it string ID. Okay, we're going to have a first name, obviously, that it needs to be a string. We're going to need a last name. We want to find out what the student's GPA, so that obviously is a decimal, so it's a uh, double dot GPA. So we're going to need a value to quit with, so we'll do ZZZ. And we'll have the cutoff at, at 2.0. Okay, there we go for our variables. Okay, so the next thing we do, until ZZZ is entered an ID, prompt the user to enter uh, student's ID, first name, last name, and GPA. Obviously, we're going to put a, a try loop here. We're going to bring our opening curly braces. So I'm going to call this output stream, and we'll say it's a good stream. We'll declare a new buffered output stream, and for our parameters, we'll put in files.newOutputStream good. So next we'll put in our buffered writer. We'll have it as good writer. It'll be new buffered writer with our parameters of output stream. So now we need a probation stream. So I'll declare output stream of probe, probe stream. We'll have new buffered output stream and our parameter is going to be files new output stream. So we're going to create a new output stream for our, our probation files. So just like we did a buffered writer, for a good writer for the buffered writer here, we're going to have to do the same thing for our probation. So buffered writer, probation writer, new probation writer with a parameter of bad stream, probation stream. Sorry about that. So now we want the user to 
give me a student ID. We'll write that output to ID. So I'm going to put in here while loop. So as long as we're not quitting, we're going to do this process. So I need a curly brace. So now I have the user give me a first name. And I'm going to put that in the variable first name. I have the user give me the last name. So I have the user give that put that input into the last name. So I'll have the, I'll ask the user for the grade point average. So whatever the user gives me, I'll input into GPA. And I'll put in another line. Now I'm going to set the variable s to the string id plus the delimiter plus the first name plus the delimiter plus the last name plus the delimiter plus the gpa and then we'll add the system get property and then you know with the line separator so now we're going to determine if the student is in good standing or if they're on probation. So we're going to have an if clause here. Is the GPA less than the cutoff? If that is true, we're going to add them to the probation file. Otherwise, we'll add them to the file of students in good standing. So next I'm going to ask the user to give me a new student ID or to quit. So I get me another line. That ends this block. So the next thing I want to do is I want to close a file that has the probationary students. I also want to close the file that has the good students. So after this block, what I want to do is I want to catch any exceptions. I'll put in my curly braces. And I'll just give them whatever message the exception produces. It looks like we've got too many cur closing curly braces. Run the code. And you can see we produced students on academic probation and students in good standing. Okay, so when you turn in your assignments, what you want to do is you want to give me your file of students of academic probation and students in good standing, okay? So let's test our file. One, two, three, four. Sid. Green. 4.0 um Mary Jones <laughs> Brown 1.0 Sam, Greg, Williams, T. 
2.5. Z, Z, Z to quit. Okay, so let's see what this, so we have any students, yep. We have one student under academic probation. So you turn in your files, right? And you're all done. Good job.